Hey guys, it's Hannah Sky here from Sweetener. Today I am doing the first episode of my HTML and CSS tutorials. This is essentially going to lead up into how to make roleplayer.me and Tumblr layouts. Um, it's just going to explain the basics of HTML and CSS to begin with. So in this episode I'm just going to do the basics um, because ideally you've got to start somewhere and there's no point in me throwing you straight into the deep end if you don't even know how to code. Um, let me just use a disclaimer that I self-taught myself. Um, I do have um, a degree in web coding, but it's not really a degree, it's a certificate and it was from Woucher, if anyone in the UK knows it. And to free, whilst HTML and CSS is a generic language code, um, we all do have our, we all web masters have our own style and therefore I'd appreciate if you wouldn't copy my style um, create your own unique thing and if you're going to use any of these then please just credit like if someone says to you how did you learn how to code just say me like at the end of the day I'm teaching you everything you need to know and a little thanks goes a long way so anyway to start off with we need to learn the basics of HTML so you've got two languages that work consistently together which is what you use to make a roleplayer.me layout you've got HTML and then you've got CSS. HTML is the standard language and then CSS is basically making things pretty. Um, it is how to style your coding. And then obviously we'll go into text styles, font styles, scroll bars, links, images, things like that. So HTML, how does it work? There's plenty of research that you could do and I will link everything in the description below that you can use that can obviously help you familiarize with what I'm going to be teaching you because let's face it, this isn't an easy thing to learn. Um, it took me two years to fully grasp it and that was basics and then to start creating my own now, um, it was only after the course and that course was a headache and I didn't complete it. So I've only got a partial certificate in it. But anyway, to write, HTML, um, the generic rule of thumb is you use your less than and your more than sign. Don't ask me which one's which because I never know. But you basically use the arrow that points to the left to open and the arrow that points to the right to close. That is your HTML. Anything you write in HTML has to be in between them two brackets um, or arrows, symbols, whatever you want to call them. We're going to call them arrows for the whole purpose of this tutorial. With CSS, everything goes in the squiggly brackets. Um, that's how CSS works and usually most of it would have a class, a div class or a div element like a div style, a class or a, what is it, class, yeah, or div. So we'll go more into them in detail another time on another episode, but this is just the basics. So anything you write in HTML has to go between the two bracket, uh, the two arrows and anything you write in CSS goes between the curly brackets. That includes um, your textiles and stuff that can be done in HTML, but obviously the more detail you get into it, the more it can go into CSS. So how do we do a link? This is going to be the first thing that everyone wants to ask. So you do your arrow, you then write A, H, R, E, F. So A, H, reference equals then a open speech mark close speech mark, arrow. Then you'd write whatever the link is. So in this case, we'd put a link and then the arrow, close it using a forward slash, a close. That is how you do a link. In between the two speech marks would be your essentially your link. So if it's an image or you wanna to click to a link, that's how you do it. So in this case, we could actually just put Google for the sake of it. You could back Google in and that link would take you to Google. So that's how you do, like for example, if you wanted to do your, like your navigation links, you'd put home or you do send message. That is your link, okay? It's the same principle pretty much for an image. You still need to choose that URL code or the URL for that image. Ideally a direct URL. So to do an image, you do your open bracket, image, IMG, image, SRC, I call that screen reference, 
year equals open your code year speech marks I'm putting an arrow a forward slash just for the time being and then you close it and then that is pretty much it so in this case if I want to put an image you could just put I'm just putting a placeholder in we'll do 20 by 20 oh we'll do 80, 50 by 50 in images if you use a placeholder it always goes width by height remember that so width times height and that will give your image so if I was then to go text it then gives me a link and an image now did you see that even though I pressed ha um, and enter it didn't give me a paragraph that's because in order to have a paragraph break you have to have a P in the little brackets that will then drop them down if you want just a one line down you use BR which is break break rule and that will just drop it one below so BR for one line down P for paragraph down always remember them as well because that is a difference between when you start coding um, P is usually ideal for text like big box of for biography and things like that whereas BRs are usually for like your statistics box and stuff like that or your interest love interest boxes so that's the two simple codes that you need I will link all of this on below like I say I have done a paste bin um, file that has everything you need and I will include these throughout the whole tutorial or the whole process episode of this tutorial <laughs> so now that we've got them what do we do about texts so I'm just going to delete all this for a text box um, it is a div box but we're going to go with text style to begin with so you open and you're going to do font style uh, with a space you don't need to put anything else equals year speech mark and then what we're going to do is your font style so what font do you want let's go with georgia because that's the most common one so you go font family with a little hash in, with a little um i don't know what you call that hyphen is that hyphen i ain't got a clue with the little line between it semicolon at uh, colon then you put georgia semi colon to close then you want size so font size colon 10 pixels so px pixels close and then you can go color and then you can put um, any hex code you can use rgbs but they're not as great um, and you can use letters but again it's quite basic so for example i could put red and then close it with using the speech mark and the arrow write my text and then font to close that font style off um, and yes it will make it red but as you can see it's just one type of red if i was to change that red to a, a hex code for example 860000 that is a certain type of red it makes it a dark red so you can use colors as in word of colors so red black blue it does work but if you want a specific color um, you use a hex code um, so that's basically how you make a font uh, font style there are various different other things you can put in style like styles so you can do font spacing uh, not font spacing letter spacing and you can do and plus you can do a negative or a plus sign so you can do 3px so 3 pixels of space between text you can do minus three pixels between so it's all squished together as you can see it's tiny font so not the best to describe them it's 200 so there you go you can see that quite clearly that it's quite big so if then we went 30 negative it, as you can see it all jumbles together or you could easily just go like 10 and it merges it closer 15 even closer and then if you go plus 15 it separates it you can also do font style at uh, is it font style yes it's font style and then you can make it italic you can do font weight bold there are so many variations you can do you can do border um bottom so it's underneath one px one pixel solid same color as my font close it's got a line underneath 
and again you can change that to whatever size you want that line underneath to be or even if you wanted to you can make it border right and just have it on the right you can make that 100 if you really want to do so it's a big block next to it you can make it left change it to the left hand side you can make it a border in general so just have border and it will make a border of 100 around it obviously it's not going to work very well on here but you can let's do one one there you go so it's a border around the whole text so that is your font style this is what you would use later on when you make layouts to change how you make an italic font look different than a bold font to make it look different than an underlined font and that's also where you get your headers in as well um you also will see as well that this you can you can do links and modify links this way as well the last thing i'm going to show you is scroll bars now in order to show you a scroll bar i'm going to have to show you my group page which is probably the easiest thing for me to show you when it loads so if you aren't already please join this group um there is a link in my blog for it and there's also one on my page you can link to it um this is where i'm going to post all my tips and tricks as well but as you can see i've already done one for scroll bars if you've read through this if you've read this already perfect you'll understand what i'm talking about if not that's fine so scroll bars are simple they can be simple and they can also be a bitch that is the best way to describe a scroll bar you've got three elements for scroll bars so you've got a track you've got a thumb and you've got the scroll bar itself oh yes that's right so thumb track scroll bar this essentially on your right hand side is your scroll bar so this is what you're going to be modifying as you can see here i've put an example of how i do mine so you you style because of html has to have a style code for it to work it has to be in a style box in this case i've done text slash css because a scroll bar is both it's html and css so that's why you have to have both the curly brackets that's just my way of putting that that is how where my scroll bar is going to be that's all it is it's just my layout so underneath that you've got two colons then dash web kit dash scroll bar that's generic coding again this will be included in, in 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 the coding below so don't worry the things you can adjust are your height your width and your colors and if you want a radius that means you want a curved edge you can adjust that or you can remove it so you got three cent four, four essential things you can change so your height essentially is how high how tall do you want this bar um how wide do you want that bar and what color do you want that bar essentially it's the background color but that's what if that makes sense so you can change the color as i've done below you can change these colors um, into any color you want the thumb is the bit that you click to scroll you can change the color of that you could change the height and the width but just to keep it simple change the color and then the track is the white bit underneath that you can press to move your screen up and down as you can see i'm doing this on the side here but you get what i mean again you can make that curved if you want to in my coding i do have it curved but you can adjust that you can remove it this is a square one as you can see so you could keep it square um so yeah that is essentially it just so you know american writing with the color has to be color in the american in the us format as i said earlier it is a generic language that was made in the uk so in the us so it's us writing but anyway with scroll bars you must use the hash symbol if you don't use the hash symbol it's not gonna work it may if you're lucky but i found eight times out eight out of ten it doesn't work it doesn't like it uh, and use the four color as well don't just write black because that's not gonna work you need to use a hex color um, and if you need a hex color website again i'll attach it below but you can use color hex this is where I get all my colors from. They also do palette styles um, or schemes, but you can just pick a color and change the color of your text. All you'd then do with that scroll bar property is you'll just copy and paste what you've already written, 
put it into your about me section on your profile and that is how you get a scroll bar to change that is pretty much it on this episode um i think i don't know there's much else i need to go over um if there is i'll address it in the next episode but essentially remember that html is in the arrow brackets and css is in the curly brackets everything that needs to be written in html has to be in them brackets so that's your font styles and things like that as i've repeated several times everything will be in the description below all my templates everything all the base codes will be found there if you do use them please let me know and please comment and credit because otherwise i'm going to get very frustrated with people not following my rules and we don't want a frustrated hammer so i will catch you again on the next episode but for now i hope that has all made sense and please do check out the light reading below this will help you and if you have got time just go over it just start coding in notepad you could literally just whack up a notepad file um like so and just start coding so even if you see this and you're like okay so how do i do an image it's image and then the image like that you can practice at home it's not a problem um but i'll link some little things below as well just to help people who need a little extra help if anyone has any comments got any problems then please feel free to leave a comment if not message me on roleplayer the codes are all below you can message me on tumblr don't always have tumblr open so roleplayer or youtube's usually the better one but thank you all for watching and i'll catch you guys soon much love